Hey, I'm Andrew Elsner from Torch. I play clear tone strings and star picks exclusively. <laughs> Jonathan Nunez, um, I play clear tone bass strings and star picks. Yeah. Um, I started playing clear tone strings uh, when Jay at Clear Tone contacted me through my old band Riddle of Steel and uh, set us up with some guitar strings, bass strings, picks, and it was awesome. <laughs> And Steve got uh, into the clear tone string stuff uh, through Andrew. He sent a, a box, you know, filled with like, you know, you guys pick, strings Goodies. and all that. While we were like writing and recording uh, Harmonic Craft, the last record. And at first I was skeptic, um, but at the same time I was kind of over what I had been using for a while. And you know, that whole magical coding crap, I don't know, I wasn't really, you know, <laughs> I, I didn't think it was going to be true or whatever. Uh, but no, tried it out, fucking sounded great, the coils, I like the way it feels, or you know, not small and like shitty feeling. Um, also, that magical cording, cording uh, works great. Like I can play up to like maybe three or four shows and really not worry about changing the strings. They sound great. I can even play longer, but I don't know. I'm, I'm just happy with it. It's, uh, I think, uh, we were talking about this yesterday, the other day, like, brand loyalty is pretty serious among guitar players and bass players, drummers too, but like, it's, it's a new company, so you just haven't heard of it, and you're like, what? Like, I've never heard of this, so it's gotta be garbage. But you, you know, you play them, you're like, oh, well, hell, these strings rule. Like, I, you know, yes, yes please. You know, and it's not just about, oh, they're expensive, so they're good. I mean, they're really well-made strings, it's not really a coating, so it doesn't feel at all, like, you don't notice it. I think it's awesome. Worth every penny. Well, we're on tour right now with Converge and Kvelertak from Norway. Uh, it's been a blast. We started early October, um, out till mid-November. We will be riding through the winter and then recording in... Uh, spring, maybe? Yeah, like springtime, the, the next record. <laughs>